Coffee and Colouring here and welcome back to another video. So I'm so excited, I'm going to get into my pages for April of 2022. I completed 15 pages and I completed them out of 8 different colouring books. So yeah, this month was a bit odd for me. Um, I didn't end up colouring until I think the first finished page I completed was the 22nd of April. So that's pretty far along <laughs> through April to start completing some pages. Um, but yeah, I was a bit of a late bloomer this month with getting my pages done. Um, but once I started, I was just colouring every single day after the 22nd of April. So um, that's why I managed to get 15 done. and. Yeah, uh, things are looking really positive for May, um, it's April 30th when I'm filming this, so yeah, May hopefully will be a really great month for me with colouring because I am just really into it right now and um, I did a little bit of a marker base with pencil shading in some books, um, so it's good to be getting back into my coloured pencils a little bit. Um, because, yeah, I, I feel like my comfort colouring um, is colour by numbers. I'm just really addicted to them now. Um, I used to do a lot more of my own pencil shading um, with more, you know, detailed books. But it's just, yeah, really good stress relief for me when I do colour by numbers. So I feel like that's why I'm really addicted. Um, but yeah, let's just get straight into the video. So as you see, the first book here is Chibi Girls. Um, four books in one by Jade Summer. So of course I did a buddy colour with the lovely Chronic Colouring Down Under um, who is Sarah here on YouTube and we just selected one page this month which worked out for me because you know I didn't get <laughs> to this page till the end of April anyways. Um, so yeah I chose the page which Sarah was happy to do as well. So I did this page here and I have um, these sticky notes and then on the back of them I actually have, like I wrote down what I used so I don't forget but I don't have it upwards because who wants to see messy handwriting. Um, so I used Oleep markers and my Oleep brush markers, um, so a mix of the two, um, a sucker jelly roll. Um, obviously for the highlights and stuff um, and to outline the clouds. Um, I used one sharpie just for the crab's eyes here, the pupils, um, and then I used watered down acrylic paint for going over the clouds. So yeah, this is the page I did. Let's get a bit of a close up. It's really cute. I do love how it turned out. Um, at first I didn't really like it because, well, it was only because I had a different image in my mind with how I wanted it coloured. Like, I originally imagined this girl being blonde and maybe with a little bit tan skin, um, but then she ended up with this beautiful tan coloured skin. Um, and I thought the blonde would just look too bright and light, um, so I just made her a brunette. And... I'll put Sarah's picture on this side here so you can see what Sarah did. Her one looks really awesome. Um, she did say she was trying to aim to make it more of a gloomy vibe, like a cloudy day vibe, um, which I definitely got that when I first saw her picture. So yeah, she did an amazing job and I love colouring in here with Sarah. So we do plan on doing one so far next month. We're not sure what page yet. Um, and then if I do better with colouring, maybe we can um, do another one. So yeah, that's this page here. I love this beach page. And... Yeah, I also outlined the lighthouse in the corner there. Because, yeah, I started to lose some of the details. But, yeah, that is that one. The next book I have here is one that I haven't shown for a while. 
So it is the Fashion Coloring Book for Girls by Lauren Roller. So I haven't done a page in here in a very long time. I think it was uh, yesterday before work I coloured in a page from in here. And it's this one. So I use just Ohuhu brush markers and a Posca pen for the highlights and stuff. And I really love how she turned out. I didn't know for the longest time what colour I wanted to do her hair, but I do love that I went with making it dark. Um, and in this book, I like to give very simple little backgrounds. So there's one that I did, like little shapes. Um, but with this one, I was originally going to do a little light blue circle and then I did just these three little circles and these three and I really liked it so I added some more. Um, and see so it's just a little bit of extra colour and it makes it look just more finished. Um, because this page actually, not all of them do, but this page has a little border so I was going to just colour in the whole border a colour like on the inside for the background, but yeah, I'm happy I went with this. Um, instead of giving her just a white and black zebra bikini, I went with pink to match her thongs, and she has beautiful green eyes. And yeah, I'm really happy with how she turned out. You guys know I love looking at all the hard work on the back. <laughs> Well, not really hard work because this page was super quick to do, but yeah, um, I was going to try do this one today. This one. So cute, but yeah, I don't know. I will see how I go with finishing something today, but then that would be with my May completed pages. So that's that book. Um, next is tiny the tiny little horror coloring book so i'll just zoom you guys in there you go um because yeah this one is just a pocket size one i love this book and i don't color in it enough <laughs> so this is the page i did the little frankenstein here um, so I used Olive brush markers um, for the base and then I shaded all of him with Prismacolor pencils. I used a Sakura Jelly Roll for the highlights and then of course when I used my Prismacolors I sprayed this down with fixative spray. So yeah I just knew I wanted him to be bright green which I love and I actually am really happy with the shading. I just um, pretty much shaded with one pencil shade darker for all the different colors on him. You can see there's the markers. Um, so yeah, my Olive brush markers bleed a lot, like they spread out a lot, but they are still really, really new. So usually you have to use them a couple times and then they don't bleed as much um, from my experience. But yeah, like... I added a little shadow there. Yeah, pretty happy with how he turned out. And I think I used two different shades. Yeah, for his shoes, I used the light shade to go over the light bits again to make it pop a little more. So yeah, that is him. This book is just so much fun. <laughs> I love it. I love the style. That one's cute. But yeah, that is from my tiny little horrors coloring book so it was fun that was the first one I did um jumping back in with some prismacolor pencils that was really really fun oh also I forgot to say but I am showing all of the non-color by numbers first um which I usually have just one to show you so yeah I have been getting back into doing some non-color by numbers and this one is unfortunately going to be the last uh regular book and it is Chibi Girls Coloring Book Volume 1, so I'll zoom you guys out again. There you go. So this one actually has my 
favorite page that I did for the month of April. Um, I'm very excited to show you guys. I actually, if you have me on Instagram, then you would have seen um, this page because I was just so excited. I just, I had to post it and I did say in my caption um, that usually holds back from posting pictures I did within the month until I film these videos um, to surprise you guys with what pictures I did but sometimes I just can't wait <laughs> so yeah let's jump into this one so I did this page and I absolutely love how this turned out it's just more of that simple shading um, which I wanted her to look like she's from an anime obviously because she's a chibi so I try to do that simple shading and I had a lot of fun um so yeah I used my Ohuhu brush markers and a white Posca pen for the highlights and little details and that is all I used um so I was actually trying to break my habit um I'm trying to use my Ohuhu brush markers more because I was so excited to get them and then I bought a big set of them and they're like my favorite markers ever. Absolutely love Ohuhu markers. I have the original like fine tip and chisel tip ones and then I have the brush markers. And I think I've only colored one page before these two that I showed you today. Um, so I need to break the habit because I just really love them. So it's like I'm afraid to use them like but I can make something beautiful like this so I should be using them and enjoying them but I just don't want them to run out um and you know then I can't use some colors and stuff I don't know it's really silly you buy them to use them but you know what it's like I feel like some of you have this as well where you buy new things but you just don't want to use them because yeah you really like them so with this page um the main thing I knew that I wanted to do was give her pink hair and that's all I could see for this image. So I kind of started colouring her dress, um, which was you know, this nice green colour. And for those of you who don't know, pink and green are my favourite two colours together. I just really love how it looks when they're next to each other. Um, green's my favourite colour, especially these greens that I have for the leaves. They're my favourite kind of greens, which is why I did it. And... This pink would be one of my favorite pinks. And there's her eyes. Really love how her eyes turned out. I think I did a good job with blending um, this marker to make it look like blush without ruining the skin. Like it looks very smooth. Um, which I'll show you an example where I um, didn't do the best. So see the cheeks are there, I made a mistake and it just, yeah, the dark shadow comes out too much because I was trying to blend it properly. But um, yeah, I did a much better job here. Um, I went over her the black outline on her wings and added these little white dots so they look sparkly and magical. And yeah, um, originally on her dress, as, as I was colouring it, I did this like little ombre effect as you see. Um, this little part here and here that's darker I ombre as well but then I realized it was a part of like this um, so I just made sure it was a darker color to fix that. But yeah we cannot um, because of the black background see all of the nice bleed through um, but it does look really neat like that so I do like it. Um, and then the flowers, I was pretty hesitant to make them any kind of colour because I didn't want it to take away from the nice colour scheme I have going on. So I just decided to leave them white. Um, so yeah, here's my cute flower fairy. Um, this really just made me want to pick up April Amber's books again because I did have a massive break from colouring them and it also again broke the habit of me not using my Ohuhu brush markers so I'm gonna try and use them a lot and yeah that's this page my favourite I'm really really proud of myself with this one and the thing is it was easy I just grabbed 
colours. I started with the leaves, I think, and then her dress, and then her hair, and eyes and skin and stuff. Um, and yeah, I just had a lot of fun. It didn't even take too long. I just straight coloured and then did the, like, darker shade for the shadows and stuff. And yeah, it was really fun. So that is that page I completed. And I'm excited because um, Rachel over from Mini Rach messaged me and she wants to do a buddy colour and we're kind of trying to decide on a book and a page and she said she was leaning towards doing a chibi page so um and because it's going to be mermaid as well which I don't really participate in because it's hard for me to colour images like around the right you know times and holidays and things like that I just forget like I completely forgot about mermaid until Rachel reminded me so Hopefully I can get a couple at least of mermaid pictures done, but we, there's a mermaid in the Chibi Girls Volume 2 by April Amber, so that is the page we are going to buddy colour next month, and I'm really excited to colour from an April Amber book. So yeah, thank you Rachel for doing that with me. Um, so now we get into my Lines, Dots and Spirals books, as well as my Colour by Number books. Um, so yeah, I'm going to get straight into it, for those of you who like to see those. So the first book here is my Lines, Dots, Spirals and Waves book, um, my Scooby-Doo one. This one was the book that I first completed a page for the month of April. So yeah, I have a lot of love for this. I'm really, really liking working in it. Um, so yeah, the first page of the book was this page. So I just started from the front. Um, and in this book, I only used my Sharpie Ultra Fines in black. So this is Scooby. Look at all those dots. It's so crazy how these books work, but I love it. So. When I look at this picture, you know how you can usually remember what you were doing and stuff on the day I just remember when I started this I randomly felt like watching the Smurfs movie the first one I hadn't seen it in a really long time so yeah I put the Smurfs on and colored this while I watched and it was just so much fun um and I finished like half of the page by the time the movie was over and then I think I put something else on and then yeah I put Hoodwink 2 I remember now I put Hoodwink 2 after the Smurfs and continued this and then I just uh, watched some YouTube and finished the rest or because I was like nearly finished after Hoodwink 2 but I had some breaks and stuff in between so yeah that's that page and then Shaggy we did last month so I just went in order and here's Fred and he was a lines one had so much fun doing him. I did him when I was at my partner's house and this was the only book I brought. So I was just having fun doing this page. Um, these books amaze him as well. He loves them and he loves seeing them finished. So the next page, I thought I was going to do this one, but then I got into doing non-colour by numbers, which I'm happy with. So it's a good sacrifice, but it's this Dots one, which is Daphne and as you can like, kind of tell um so I was just going to do this book in order but then see they're kind of mixed up here there's a bunch of lines in a row then waves and dots like the start's okay um but then you get to a bit after all those waves where there's these dots and it's just heaps in a row um and then there's all these spirals in a row so I don't know I might just do some from the start and see how I go and then maybe shuffle around the book because I don't want to just do heaps of spirals in a row I want to mix it up a bit but yeah usually uh, the lines are my favorite they always have been and then the dots and spirals are kind of like the same level but I used to in my vampire diaries book the dots weren't my favorite just because I feel like they take longer than the lines ones but in this scooby-doo one because of the size difference to my Vampire Diaries ones. I don't know, I feel like they go quicker or, I don't know, just because um, it's a thicker outline and they turn out looking like this with the dots. So 
I don't know, I'm just having a lot more fun in this book actually doing the dots, which is good because usually I kind of dread them a little bit, but I think this book has kind of got me into doing the dots as well, so that's great. Because <laughs> uh, in the Vampire Diaries one too, I feel like you can't see um, the portraits as clear in the dots compared to the other ones in the book, which yeah, it's probably why. Anyway, I'm talking a lot. So that was uh, that Scooby-Doo book and I hopefully will do some more in May. So next I did one from my Autumn Inspirations colouring book by George Tufexis. So this one I was very excited when I got it, um, well last year now, and I had only done like two pages in it. So this was random, this wasn't even planned, I just grabbed the book, was looking through it, I'm like, yep, I want to colour, so I just started it, and then I finished it within two days, um, well, within 24 hours, realistically. A lot of times when I'm colouring, I stay up till sometime in the morning, and then uh, continue it, like, the next day when I wake up. So the page I did was this page. How beautiful does it look? Like, all those colours, it's gorgeous. Um, so for this, I mainly just used Sharpies and I used Sharpies Ultra Fines and also the fine tips um, in the matching colours as the Ultra Fines and then I used my regular Ohuhu markers. So for the colours that I didn't have in the Sharpies, but you know, I would do... Uh, like that as you can see is Sharpie ultra fine you can kind of see a little bit of the streaks and stuff um, but then I realized that I had Sharpie fine points in the same colors so for a section like this I would outline with the Sharpie ultra fine and then I would get the fine point and color the bigger area um, but yeah the Sharpie ultra fines are great they're very vibrant and very good for getting in the little details so I wish they had just a huge range of colors in the Sharpie Ultra Fines so I could have enough for the color palette but yeah um so of course I have to show you the other side look how pretty it is just all those colors compared to like you know you see the plain side that's not worked on yet and then the beautiful colorful page so yeah I had so much fun when doing this page um sometimes I notice that there's certain numbers like, oops, sorry, I knocked the, the stand. Um, see how that's dark green in here? But when you actually look at the back, I don't know if you'll be able to see, but it's like a light brown color. And yeah, the number was definitely, definitely that dark green because I always double check and stuff before I color it. So. Yeah, but I don't mind. I'm just going to go off by the numbers and if I do notice a change and I like how it looks on the back cover, then I'll go for that. So, yeah, that is that page. So much fun. I really need to colour in this more because this one's one of my favourite by favourites by George Tufexis and I don't have it yet, but I really, really, really want his Sea Life colouring book. I just love the colours in that one too, so... I'm trying to do more in here before I get that. So yeah, there's that one. Next I have one of my favourites. It is my 70 plus cartoon characters, Colour by Number by Jennifer Roll Rowling. Um, as you see, I did a lot in here. <laughs> so yeah, um, I did them all in order from the page I started so I randomly just chose a page and the page it landed on was this page which is Umbreon he's a Pokemon for those of you who don't know um, and Umbreon my favorite Pokemon is Lucario but I do really really like Umbreon as well so yeah this one I had no idea what he was going to be um, and then I kind of realized the colors that were on here and when I did the black outline it kind of looked like a Pokemon um, and yeah then I realized it was Umbreon but at first I was kind of hesitant because they wanted him a dark blue which Umbreon's black so I thought maybe they would have chose a gray um, but maybe because 
the grey that they have here is like too light for what Umbreon actually is. I mean, they could have just made him all black, but yeah, I, I was kind of hesitant. I was going to make him all black or like a dark grey, but I'm glad I went with the dark blue because even though he's not blue, it kind of, it does look like him and it just looks like he's in a nighttime scene and that's why he's like a dark blue. But yeah, I love how he turned out. Umbreon's awesome. So yeah, this was the page I randomly selected. Oh, and what I used. So I used my regular Ohuhu markers, um, Elite markers, which the Elite marker was just the dark blue, and a Sharpie, which I always do these pages in this book. I always do the black outline in a Sharpie. So always use a sharpie ultra fine tip to outline all of the squares and then I color them with the fine tip because I find when I do that because um, the fine tip bleeds a lot more out of the lines when you lay it down so the ultra fine gives it that nice edge so yeah then I just went in order from this page so we have Pikachu for him I again I'm not going to say for all of them because I use the Sharpies for the black on all of these. Um, so Ohuhu markers and then I use the Elite marker for the light yellow shade on him. This one's really cute and fun. I love it. Then there's this one which is Pronita who's a Pokemon as well. Um, which I didn't know who this was for a little while and then I saw the orangey yellowy colors and I thought is it Pranita but I didn't know until I got really close to finishing it so for this one I use Elite markers, Ohuhu markers, my Ohuhu brush marker which is this cream color because I don't have it in any of my other markers um, and a Posca pen because I actually ruined this so um how can I show you so see see that light gray number three um I accidentally see where it's all patchy there I used a, the darker gray um by accident like the marker for the darker gray that I have listed for this book um and yeah, it just really irritated me. So I went over all of it with a white Posca pen because I was hoping it would show through a little bit. And it did. It's kind of patchy and streaky, but I don't know. I like it a lot more than having, you know, two different greys after I realized and having the wrong color. So I did that and I think it did a pretty good job at fixing it. So I'm still really, really happy with it. And yeah, it did a pretty good job because it made the grey lighter. And then sometimes when I'd put the Posca pen when it was still wet, I'd kind of wipe my finger on it as well so it wouldn't be fully white as well. But yeah, it did kind of go see-through. The next page here is Bumblebee Man from The Simpsons. And I didn't know who this was for a while. And then I was like, oh wait, yeah, that's definitely the bee guy from The Simpsons. Um... <laughs> So yeah, I used my Ohuhu markers and my Elite markers. So that's him. <laughs> that one was really fun. Well, all of these are really fun. So this one I already had done from a, another month. So I did this one. I This was an easy one. It was only black and white. Um, I don't know who this is I just can't my brain isn't clicking if I have seen this character before I just do not know who it is and I don't know if they're actually black and white um or if that's just a stylized choice for this book it kind of looks a little bit like Sully from Monsters Inc and the reason I thought that was only because of what pictures next because as you saw I had a lot of Pokemon in a row um, but yeah, I can't figure out who that is. So if you guys know, please comment down below and yeah, let me know. So here's the next picture. It is Mike Wazowski from Monsters, Inc. Really cute. I knew what this one was going to be. I could just tell from the colors and 
it being a circle shape I just knew it was him um, so I just used my Ohuhu markers and the only elite marker I used was for the grey on his eye so yeah I love Monsters Inc so that one's cute and then the final page I did which I finished this last night and it's this page I had no idea what this one was going to be but it's a horse and it's a really awesome page so I used Ohuhu markers um, I used an Olip marker for the dark grey which is all along here um, and yeah just the sharpie for the black so I kind of started with the dark green so I did that and then I did both shades of this brownie color and the red and I did the black first and when I had the browns all done I didn't know what it was and I'm just like excited to find out but I was watching coloring videos on YouTube and catching up with some uh, videos and yeah I went to like look back at this book after not looking at it for a while because I kept looking up and pausing and watching the video and then coloring and looking up and stuff and then when I had a pause and then looked back at the book I just realized it clicked in my head that it was going to be a horse and then I finished it and yeah it's really awesome I don't know if this is from a specific movie or if it's a specific character or if it's just like a random horse character um but it's really cool. I love this one. And this one had more of the smaller pixels. So I was excited because they're usually a lot more detailed. And then, yeah, that's all I did from this book. I think I did seven from this book, if I remember correctly. So that's pretty much half of my colorings were in this book. Um, so I have all these pages at the back. Well, it's not too many, actually. But I might next month just continue from that horse page because I had a lot of fun doing that and then I just can show you guys uh, the order I colored them in but yeah I do have a lot done in this book but there's heaps that I can still work in I probably need to do a bit more towards the front so after I um finish from the back I'll probably do ra some random pages again or I'll just start from the front and go through but yeah that's this book this one's one of my favorites probably one of my favorite books i love working in it so yeah that's this book and now we get to my final book which is the animal mystery book um by hatchet heroes so i did one page in this book and i can not remember if I told you guys last month um, the plans for this one but last month I did this B page all with acrylic paint and some of the little details were just really hard to do with the brush so I wanted to try maybe just doing acrylic paint on the next side um, just for the background to cover up majority and then color the rest so this was the next page i did it was the eagle and i love how he came out so i used acrylic paint for the light blue here and that is the only acrylic paint the light blue sections um which looks really smooth and good i love it so then I used a Crayola Super Tips base for the rest of the image that wasn't acrylic paint. And then I went over all of that with my Prismacolor pencils. Um, in these books, I always use a Posca pen for the black outlines. And I actually used a white Posca pen to go over the white sections on the eagle and like down here because to try and cover up the numbers um and because there wasn't much white to cover so i do like how that turned out and then of course because i used prismacolor pencils i don't want anything to transfer or for it to get that wax bloom so i sprayed this whole thing with fixative spray and yeah i really love it um 
because you know areas like on his wing here would have been so hard to get in through those little bits with a paintbrush and I would have just been very very focused to where it wouldn't be super relaxing for me so that's why I thought I'll just paint the backgrounds um, and then do my because I do it in my Disney color by number books by Hatchet Heroes where I use a Crayola super tip base and Prismacolor pencils but I am doing a lot more acrylic paints in those books now too um, but yeah I love how this looks um, it was just really relaxing using the super tips and then going over with the pencil and seeing this picture slowly come to life. And I just posted this just before filming. I posted this to my Instagram. So yeah, um, and I'm excited to see, hopefully nothing bad happens, but with some, I'm not sure if it's every acrylic paint, because obviously I don't put anything to set that, like varnish or anything. Um, so some people, I think when they have acrylic paint on both sides, it does kind of stick when you open it. Um, so far mine hasn't done that. So I'm hoping that doesn't happen. Um, so then if I do acrylic paint on both sides, it doesn't tear the paper or anything or lift up. Um, yeah, so far so good. Um, but this page, obviously if I have it closed for a long time and maybe put it on my bookshelf in between books, um for a while and then open it up to see if it happens i really hope it doesn't but yeah um so that's why i did it like i just trialed this second page um but now i think you know i'm not gonna work in order i'm just gonna go ahead and select random pages or look at the color key and choose pages that way but i love this book so yeah, that was the final colouring book for this video. So that concludes everything I coloured for April 2022. Um, sadly, I didn't do any Easter images. Again, I kind of forgot about that detail. Um, so yeah, I, I do have some upcoming buddy colours already set in for next month so I'm excited to do those um also a little side note my sister um she's younger than me she I kind of got her into coloring so we used to color as kids which is why I really loved adult coloring once I started getting into it and she's obviously like supported me with my hobbies and stuff so she always loved seeing what pages I did and I told her about buddy colors and she thinks it's really awesome how like we do buddy colors on here and stuff so I said to her like you know you could get some books or I can buy you a book and we can do buddy colors together um so I'm going to show you quickly actually give me a second okay so we actually got these Scooby-Doo ultimate coloring books um I will be filming a haul soon. This is the page actually that we want a buddy color so it's funny I landed on that. Scooby with the pizza. Um, but yeah I got this book for her as well on Amazon um, as I was getting it for myself. I love Scooby-Doo but she also when we were younger we both had the exact same Scooby-Doo coloring book um, as kids and we used to color in that and show each other our pages and stuff so yeah she's actually done some pages in this and she also has a bunnies book like a disney bunnies book um so yeah she's been coloring just with faber castell colored pencils but i've been teaching her about shading and stuff and she kind of wants to upgrade um because she is amazing at coloring it's just her pictures look very faint and not as vibrant um which like me she loves the vibrant look and i've kind of explained what alcohol markers do and how they work and stuff so i want to get her a set of those so then in my April Amber books, because there's double images, um, I could just tear out the spare ones, give them to her, and we can body colour in them. So that is some future plans for upcoming videos. So I'll be very excited to show you what my sister and I have done. Um, and it's just fun doing a body colour with one of the closest people in my life, which is my sister. So yeah, that's going to be so fun. Um... Sorry if you watch this and then when I post my colouring book haul, I'll probably be explaining a lot of that again. <laughs> but I just, I couldn't wait. I had to tell you guys because I'm excited for it. So hopefully you guys will be excited for that. Um, 
but yeah with that being said I these are the books that I really got into this month so I'm excited for next month I feel like it's going to be a really good month for coloring uh let's hope so um but yeah thank you so much for watching um thank you for those of you who have reached out and messaged me um to check in and yeah I'm very very excited for next month enjoy the rest of your day or night thank you so much for watching happy coloring and I'll see you all in the next video bye everyone